As one can see, it, skin cancer in black skin is ignored and not really talked about. People still are under the impression that it doesn't exist, or if it does exist, it gets diagnosed late, which usually means that the patients carry a much worse um, prognosis than their Caucasian counterparts. I think it's both. Um, the patient awareness is definitely uh, very much in its baby steps. And by the time that the patients present to our clinic, which is a tertiary uh, referral clinic, meaning the patient would go to a nursing station, then to a day hospital, then to a provincial hospital, and then end up at the university hospital. But by the time that they arrive at the university, they usually often present with metastatic disease. I think there are obviously uh, other differences as well. I think uh, skin cancer in black skin or dark skin does not necessarily follow the, ne uh, the same genetic pack patterns as in Caucasian uh, skin. The risk factors are different. And I think in general, probably just not enough research is done in that field and not enough resources are channeled in that particular problem. I think the awareness, I mean, it is the first time that, um, I mean, the last time I gave a similar talk was uh, in a, at a meeting in Munich. And I've been asked specifically because we as uh, a sort of multi-population uh, group that we experience in South Africa have got the experience to have all different skin types. And um, in other countries, the equivalent would be there are studies, I think, starting, but also very much in the beginning, Australia with the, with the Aboriginal group, which is skin type 5. In America, I'm surprised that it hasn't been done on a larger scale. I don't know why, but they certainly should. And hopefully it is coming. I think between America and Australia, they are probably the group. But also, let's not forget about Asia. Asia has got lots of skin type 5. Uh, and they are not as well studied as the skin types 1 to 3. I think um, the sort of um, trials are opening up to suggestions as far as uh, that is concerned. I think, unfortunately, uh, so socioeconomic circumstances are a big problem to overcome uh, because even in um, countries with large financial resources it is difficult to get the newer treatment for instance made available or having access to the treatment. Now you can imagine uh, sort of transferring this to the poorer socioeconomic uh, setup and then you're, we are light years away from sort of being where we would like to be. But trial setup does help because I would say what has changed is that um, there is interest. I think f probably five years ago there was no interest. It was plainly ignored. Now at least there is a, a rising awareness and interest and maybe the research um, will become more um, involved because it is behaving differently to what we know already. So people who do academic medicine, for instance, would study it out of a matter of interest and that could then lead to therapeutic approaches.